What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern Women Archives. Let's get straight into it. So, when I left my first husband, oh god, um, I was not making a lot of money. I want to say maybe back then I was. Wait a minute. Wait like a minute. 50. Wait a minute. Are you a? Now you a single mom. Now you a single mom. <laughs> Are you a single mom? <laughs> it's giving. <laughs> it's giving single mom. I'll, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Five thousand dollars a year, and Damn. I had to pay him child support. Yes, because we had 50 50 custody, and that's how it works. Like, whoever is making more than the other Perfect. person has to pay that person I love it. to make things equitable uh, yes. for the children. And he managed to lose his job while we were separated and going through the divorce, so therefore, I had to pay him. Yes. And it wasn't a small amount for somebody who is making like fifty five thousand dollars a year. I want to say. It was almost like $400 a month I had to pay him. Good. So during like the year after we split up, I ended up going into about $8,000 in credit card debt. I had to use my credit card sometimes to buy groceries and stuff. Oh, boo-hoo. So I'm a divorce mom. See, well, this is what I don't understand. These women will straight up leave these men when they had a, dub- a dual income house and potentially maybe some kids. They had two incomes, and they would rather divorce him and go down to one, and then complain about just having one income. But this is what you wanted. You wanted to divorce him, so why are you mad that you only got one income? Like, what? Do you you hear how stupid that sounds? Two. And I have them week on, week off. And sometimes that's really sad. I miss them Wait, wait, run that that back, Turbo. Run that back, Turbo. I'm a divorce mom of two. Divorce mama too. A whole bunch of logic is about to be spit. Let's hear it. And I have them week on, week off. And sometimes it's really sad. I miss them a lot and I'm used to seeing them every single day. Last time they were at their dad's, I was like super depressed. And I don't miss being married, but I miss being able to see them every day. Wow. But I was just laying here thinking how much better divorce life is. For one, I don't have to have sex. So much better that you're on TikTok complaining about it. What? Stupid. If I don't want to. But if I want to, men are easy. You can have sex any night you wanted to have sex. I'm forced to take time for myself. She belongs which means to the that streets. I have lost my identity in being a mom. Which since my identity isn't tied to being a mom, I'm not as invested in who my kids are. Wow. Doesn't really care about being a mom. Isn't invested in who her kids are. Are the, this is why we have so many degenerates. This, bro, let me pull up some stats. I have to pull up these stats. I have them saved. And we haven't talked about them in a while, but I feel like I'm going to have to keep shouting this stuff from the freaking rooftops because it seems like we seem to forget that fatherless homes have the highest rate of being straight up degenerates. Here, let's go here. 63% of youth unalivings are from fatherless homes. 90% of all homeless and runaway children fatherless homes. 85% of all children who show behavior disorders from, are from fatherless homes. 80% of our words are anger problems. 71% of high school dropouts. 75% of adolescent patients. Juveniles in state operated institutions. 80% of all youth sitting in prisons. Um, and the list goes on. I think there's more stats here as well. Teens without uh, involved fathers are twice likely to drop out of school. Girls raised in fatherless homes are twice than likely to become pregnant before the age of 18. This is the problem. You ladies are the problem. You know what the solution is? Bringing back the nuclear family. <laughs> Bring back nuclear families. Men have, have stayed traditional. We haven't changed. It's you ladies that have changed. Ladies, come back to being your traditional self. It's in your instincts. It's in your DNA. It's in your biology to be this way. Be nurturing. Be quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, natural. You know what I mean? Please be feminine, beautiful, inspirational, you know, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive. Like, go back to that. Please go back to all that. We miss it. But it seems like it's going to be another decade or two before it happens. We may not see it ever. Who knows? And I mean that by they are allowed to be whoever they want to be. 
Oh, and God. I get to love them where they are instead of me having expectations and then them trying to be that person. This is when moms become friends to their kids. And this is like the worst thing you can do. Kids need to be led. Kids don't lead. They need to be led. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think moms and dads should lead their children and lead a household? Or do you think they should just let them become who they are? What do you think? Let me know. Five star steakhouses used to be a special event thing. Now they're a normal date night. And some guys even think I'm funny. I was trying to get into your pants. All right. Well, after eight months of separation, after divorce. Um, it's time I'm to get on TikTok and complain about it. <laughs> 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 I read the single woman handbook and it said I have to get on TikTok and cry about this for the next six months. So here we go. I'm starting my series. Going on a date. I finally decided to join a dating app and... Ugh. Get my back blown out. I just want to take a freaking nap. Now. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> I'm not excited about dating. I don't see how I'm going to have any interest in anyone anytime soon, but I feel like it must be done at some point in time in order for me to. I don't know. See, Give these me. women are just going out there and dating with zero intention. They're like, I don't even know why I'm dating. I'm just out here dating. This is why I always say women grow old, they never grow up, dude. People a chance again at some point down the road. So, I'll let you know how it goes. Stupid. This is going to be interesting. If she doesn't feel like that. Good Lord, bro. $50,000 a year and my wife is making $200,000 a year. I should not have to pay her any money. I bettered myself while he just sat around. Why should I get less child support? Since the kids are living with mom full time, even though she makes more money, Dad, I still order you to pay child support to mom. This video is going viral right now of this woman who said she did not want to be a responsible parent, so she gave up her Bro, these women look like aliens, bro. Shots fired! Shots fired! Like, it's just like the cat face, like the cheek fillers, the lip fillers, the cumbrellas. And she's like constantly preening, like playing with her hair and like looking in the mirror and good lord. And now she's having to pay her old husband child support. Okay, so in November, I decided I no longer wanted to be a responsible parent and I gave up my kids. I was just tired of being responsible and caring for them. I felt like I was too young and I wanted to go out there and experience life and I started dating someone else, so it just didn't fit to the with streets. my new lifestyle. And I didn't have anything to worry about because the other parent is a very responsible parent but now i'm here because now i'm earning child support and to top it off i'm really pissed off that i took care of them all the way up to november and i couldn't claim them on my taxes because the other parent had already claimed them all i can say is what has this world come to man seriously bro this is so sad like this woman is straight up crying about this stuff when it's what she wanted you manifested it you made it happen and now you're out here crying about it you would never see a man do any of this stuff, bro. Baby mama, I'm here to say that child support is only for absent fathers. Not because you guys broke up. He's a complete Debbie. Yeah, go for it. If you know that he takes care of his kid and gets them when he's supposed to, you're just a bitter bitch. You expect. <laughs> I mean, she's got a point. To get child support? Yes, ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost... It's a boy or a girl? Boy. His whole life? Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support, yeah. He makes way more money than I do. I want my baby back and I want child support. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you, that's five years old, that's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been... They took, taken care of. They took As a man who has been... Bro, what? They took her kid from her. Okay, the plot thickens. Burnt twice in civil court by my ex-wife. This video is hilarious. They took, taken care of. They took my baby away because my ex-boyfriend is an abuser and I'm not with him anymore, so I want my baby back. Right, but the child... I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Ribs. Chili's baby back ribs barbecue sauce. That's the only thing I can think when I hear baby back. Dude, shout out to Austin Powers. Fat bastard. Been living with you. 
the child has been living with him. Yeah, because of my ex, and I'm not with my ex anymore. Um, yeah, so no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. He would literally have to have given you the child back, and then you come in here, and you, after you've been having the child for some time, then you come in here and say, Judge, I want... She wants, she wants child support on visitation. Gets him every other weekend. I want child support. Oh, my Lord. It's to be changed. I've been having the child this entire time. I want him to pay child support. That would be a little bit more reasonable. But what you're asking for today is very unreasonable. Okay, well, give me my baby back, and then I'll come back in a while and ask for child support. Well, I can't give you your baby back because I never took your baby, okay? Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for, for your own negligence with your ex-boyfriend. That has nothing to do with me, okay? Perfect. Now, fill me in over here. The baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby? Yep. And he's been living with you ever since then. Yep. You've been taking care of him. Mm -hmm. You paid for everything for the child. Everything. What does she do? Uh, I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay, congratulations. Financially, what does she do? Uh, oh, financially? Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, that's what I figured. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love this judge. That's what I figured. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not about to play this game with you. You're the one that's going to pay him child support today. What? Yeah, you I are. I love it. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money? Perfect. Um, it's for the child, so yes. You I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. You don't have custody. He has custody. He's raising the child, so therefore, yo, dusty ass, gotta pay. It's just what, it's just, it's just so funny to me. That these women really think they can go into these courtrooms and ask for these ridiculous things and think the judges are just going to be like, you know what, since you're a woman, you lost your baby, you don't have custody, you only see this baby on the weekends, maybe every other weekend, you know what, you deserve child support. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like... J.K. Rowling couldn't make this stuff up. Was it George R. Martin couldn't make this stuff up? Some of the greatest authors in the world couldn't make this stuff up. This is a true reality. I came up with a couple other acronyms for you guys. Um, so are you him and is she her? Him is handsome, intelligent, masculine. And her is helpful, elegant, and radiant. So all my hymns out there, I hope you find your her. But you got to be him first. And Himothy, Himothy Duncan, him Duncan, you know what I'm saying? Him, what is it? Him the tool, him the tool man. I'm trying to think of some other hymns here. Uh, put put it put in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some hymn like Hemothy Duncan, him the tool man. Um, God, what's some other ones? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I didn't come prepped with a lot of hymns, but <laughs> I should have. Handsome, intelligent, masculine, helpful, elegant, radiant. Radiant. What I mean by her is radiant is a woman that exudes a level of confidence, but that it's not too much. She exudes like this femininity that other people are like, wow, she is glowing with her femininity. And elegant, she dresses well, she looks good, she keeps her body in shape, and she's helpful. Because at the end of the day, a good woman is a helpmate to a man. You know what I mean? If she's not helping a man, what is she really doing? She's hindering him. She's slowing him down. Ladies, you need to be a helpmate to the man, especially if you, if you expect us to provide and protect we need some help. And this is another thing, dude. Like a lot, of, a lot of ladies out there want a man that is a provider guy, but then she also wants all of his time. You don't get both. If I got to go make all this money, then I don't have a lot of time. If I have a lot of time with you, then I don't make a lot of money. So it's like, pick, pick what you want. Do you want a lot of money? You're not going to get a lot of my time. Do you want a lot of my time? Then we're not going to have a lot of money. Like it's so difficult to have both. But these days, that's what women want. This is why I always say men are the true romantics. We will date down. Every woman that you've ever been with, the only reason she got with you is because she thought you were better than her. Think about that for a second. She only dated you because she thought you were better than her. Women don't date down. Women are not true romantics. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why Eve ate from the tree of knowledge when, when they told her when Jesus or God told her not to. She did that. And we had to suffer for it, right? But a man would go out there and he would marry a chick on fries and McDonald's. If she was fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, sum submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, natural, helpful, elegant, radiant, we would go, feminine, beautiful, inspirational, we would go and wife her if she looked good. 
You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. And she had those qualities. But do you ever think in the history of everdom that a woman would go out there and marry a man on fries at Arby's? No way. Stupid. There's no way that's ever happening. <laughs> These women would never do that. They would never go out there. They would never even give this man a chance. He wouldn't even get the time of day. You couldn't even take her out on a date. You couldn't even take her shopping because she'd call you broke. Mm, you smell like those Arby's fries. Mm, you smell like the, the beef fat from the McDonald's fries. They would never give you the time of day, bro. Even if you were a good looking dude, they'd never give you the time of day because they see you as broke. And that's the cardinal sin for women, being a broke man. But you know what? Life is a mirror, not a window. And you attract what you are. And so, ladies, you know what's a cardinal sin for us? Being a big back Betty. Bam, ba, lam. So you're a big back and you expect all of us men to just accept that. Nah, we're done with that. We're done. We're done. Men, men can procreate like, what was it? Al Pacino, or Robert De Niro. They just had a kid at like 82 with like his 21 year old wife. Hey, I got to applaud that. A girlfriend. I love it. Us men, we can keep pumping seed until we're damn near on the ground. But you ladies, there's a, there's a time clock on that body. Biologically, that time clock is up pretty much by like 35. Geriatric pregnancy, and then it's a wrap for you. So if you don't have a kid by then, it's like, ooh. And so then, men, if they do want a legacy, especially if they do want kids, you're already out the runnings. And this is what a lot of these modern women don't realize is that we can disqualify you just as fast as you can disqualify us. But the thing is, is we're the, we're the ones that do the marrying. You control, ac women control access to sex, men control access to relationships. So if you really want a relationship with us, the questions you should be asking yourself, ladies, is what qualities do I have to qualify for a man? But a lot of y'all out there thinking you got to protect your energy and that, you know, men just aren't nice and that they're just not good men. They're weak. And no, that's not the case. You're just not up to par for us. And we're the ones that do the picking. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And if you don't get picked, it's because you don't qualify for the job. It's like showing up to, it's like showing up, to, like you're a lawyer. Let's say you're a lawyer. It's like showing up to a law office. And they're like, all right, um, I want a job here. And they're like, all right, show me your resume. You hand them a resume that has your name, number, and email address on it. And they're like, where's your, where's your work experience? Where's your previous jobs where's your qualifications have you taken the bar and you're like oh no i've not done any of that but i want to be a lawyer and i want to make a quarter million dollars a year they would straight laugh you out of the office they'd be like, how'd you even get in here get out that's what is going on right now you ladies are showing up to try to be wives and try to be girlfriends to these men but you have no prerequisites you have no prerequisites you're ran through number one it's like almost every girl nowadays is ran if you find a virgin good luck it's like freaking finding a unicorn you know what i mean like Hold on to that if you can find that. They're not virgins. They're usually ran. They have a lot of trauma. And they're usually super superficial. And they have Botox, the Cumbrellas, the lip fillers, the, the BBLs, the snatched waist. So, like, what you're actually seeing isn't really even her. You're looking at a house that's been remodeled. You're not looking at the bones of the house. It's like, it's like, you know, when you drive by those houses, you're like, dang, that house looks really modern and new. But then you get on Zillow or Realtor.com and you look at it and you're like, oh, they remodeled the house. They should start doing that for women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you can go back and like, let me see the base model. <laughs> this way I know what I'm going to be if I want to make babies. This way I know I'm, I know what I'm making babies with. Because the thing is, us men, we don't know. There was a case, I think it was, dude, this was probably 15, maybe even 20 years ago. I think it was a Chinese guy. He was like a super millionaire or something like that. And he married this chick that was hot, right? He married her. And then they had these kids. And these kids were beat up from the feet up. These kids were beat as hell. He actually ended up suing her because he found out that she had had all this plastic surgery and that she didn't look the way that she actually, you know, showed. Because you can't run from those genetics, he sued her and he won because those kids were, he was like, these kids do not look like me. These kids are not aesthetically, because he was like, I think he was like damn near royalty or something like that. Let me know in the, let me know in the comments, let me know in the chat if you know who I'm talking about. And this might have been a false story, but still the, the precedent and the principle of it still makes sense. But ladies, we want to know what the base model is. We don't want to know that you got the, the cool, like, dropped lower body kit on it and the, the rims. We want to know what the guts are. Like, what is the base model of what you're looking like? All that other stuff is cool, whatever. You can put on makeup. You can get plastic surgery. But if we have kids with you, what are our kids going to look like? Because if you're beat, you can't run from your genetics. You just can't. 
It's just as simple as it is. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, jump in the Discord as well. We'd be chatting offline and become a member. If you really buck with your boy, we're about to hit 20K subs. So I really do appreciate you guys. The love and support has been real. I will see you guys tomorrow though, man. Peace.